today I'm talking about being thankful. In the middle of situation when things doesn't go well, we are quick, all of us as a human, to have so many things we can complain about. And God has not changed in our lives because we complain. He got his God who knows before what you can know. Maybe you were sick, he knew that you were sick. Maybe you are going through a situation, he knew about that. So you don't need to complain about what God knows. Because in every situation that happens around you, he is aware of it. And he knows what is taking place. We are quick to complain. We are quick to whinge. We are quick to talk about this and this. And I came to found as a human being, we have the habit of only talking when things doesn't go well. But when God does so many things in our lives, we are very ungrateful and very hard even to speak out about it. Maybe something God has done for you good, you are not going to talk even to your friend about what God has done. But if something happened to you bad, nearly even those overseas, they will know that something bad happened to you. God wants us to give him thanks. Listen how the scripture says, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, it says this, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Many of us, we give thanks and we praise God for what he has done, for what he has brought in, for what he has given you, for this and this, for A, B, C, D. But the Bible says, give thanks in all circumstances. Why? Because that is God's will. Thank you does not, listen, thank you does motivate God to act on your situation. Thank you does, act, does motivate God. You may say, can God be motivated? Absolutely, yes. God, when, whenever we give praise to him, he act, it activates him to do the extra. Psalm chapter 9, verse 1. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell with all your wonders. Remember, when we talk about all your heart, which means there's no part of your heart which remain with, divided. He said, I will praise you with all my heart. When you thank God with your, all your heart, he sees it. When you praise God with all your heart, he sees it. He knows it. When you praise God, God will fight your battle. When you praise God, God is going to put your enemies to shame. When you praise God, your enemies will kill themselves. When you praise God, your enemies will point finger for themselves. When you praise God, those who came against you on one way, they will sleep on different ways. If they come on ten ways, they will run on ten ways. If they come on one way, they will run in different ways because God always watch over his people. I may not know what is your Jericho. I may not know what is your war ahead of you. Stop complaining. Stop talking. I think that these stones which build this war, they are very powerful and that's how many of you you do. You contemplate the stone of Jericho. You contemplate the war of Jericho. This is so powerful. Who can move this stone? Who can do this stone? Don't complain about that. You just praise God in the stone you can see in front of you. God wants us to praise him. And and when we praise him, something start to happen. Before you can wish for the next blessing, look at where he took you from. Before you can admire this, desire this and this, look at back and count the blessings. Lack of thanksgiving can die, can, can dry, can dry your soul. Lack of thanksgiving can dry your soul. As a human, when we don't thank God, something good is not coming out of us. Thanking God brings its own, it nourishes your inner heart. It nourishes your lack of thanksgiving can dry your soul. Lack of thanking God leads to many unhealthy situations, including unhealthy relationships. When you are not a thankful person, you cannot experience healthy relationship either with God or either with people. God wants us to be people going to thank him. Before you can complain, listen, remember what God has done. Thank God for the small you have. Thank God for the step you are in. Thank God for what you can, uh, you can see you have. Look behind you, you realize there are many people who admire who do wish to be in the position you are in. We have so many reasons to thank God. The power of thanksgiving. Number one, thanksgiving is a weapon 
When you start to thank God and to thank people, even those who are grumpy, angry about you, when you start to thank God, to praise God, you dismantle them. Thanksgiving turns your trouble into triumph. Thanksgiving turns your trouble into triumph. You are going through troubles, you start to praise God, you start to triumph in all the areas because you are thanking God. Giving thanks, rebuild and harmonize your relationship. Giving thanks, rebuild and harmonize your relationship. Thanksgiving overcomes disappointment and discouragement. Many of us, you, many of you, right now as I'm talking, you, have been, you are discouraged to do what you used to do because nobody said thank you to you. Your courage has gone, you are disappointed or you are discouraged in what you used to do because nobody appreciated it. So Thanksgiving overcomes discouragement and disappointment. So if you don't want someone closer to you to be discouraged, to be disappointed, thank them. Thanksgiving leads to praise. When you pray, when, you, when you, you give thanks, you will definitely praise. Because giving thanks is an act of praise. Thanks God from bad to worse when you fail to thank God. Psalm 103, 103, verse 2 to 3. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. All his benefit. As you are reading, remember all his benefit. Be thankful. Maybe you're going through a season, a week of whinging and complaining. Rebuke that. Be thankful. If there is one prayer request or anything that you can pray every day, is thank you. If there is anything that you can pray every day, even if you don't know what to pray for, it's a day for fasting, you don't know prayer requests, just say today I will just thank God. Because you have multiple reasons, uncounted reasons to praise God.